How's it going fam? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC and we are doing another pocket dump today because I did a lot of work, carried a totally different tool set compared to my usual carry on like a work day where I'm at my day job. But today we were doing a lot of work, moving the camper stuff around, getting them prepped to head a couple towns over. So I had a totally different tool set and I figured I would run through that with you guys to show you what I carry on a... Yeah. A labor day, <laughs> if you will. Lots of physical labor today. So, uh, typical boring stuff per usual, phone and chapstick, nobody cares. Fixed blade today was the Kyle Noseworthy Tradesman. Last week I was carrying the LT Rate Frontier Valley in A2 Tool Steel. Got a pretty good idea of that, so that will be heading into a review shortly. And then we changed over... <laughs> Oh my god! My little light just fell. My little ring light just fell off. Um, I changed over to the Tradesman so that we can test that. So give me two seconds. This just fell into a water bowl. That doesn't look stable to me. You know what? We're just gonna um, just gonna put that down for now. Hopefully, you you guys can still see me. Okay. Man, it's always something here. It's always something. Um, yeah, so we did the LT Rate Frontier Valley. Now I'm testing the Tradesman this week, and this was a great first day for it because we did a lot of work. So this is... <laughs> this is a nightmare is what it is. This is the Kyle Noseworthy Tradesman. This is an 01 Tool Steel. I don't think it has a stamp saying that, but I do know that it's an 01 Tool Steel with a really nice edge from him. This is his version of a fixed blade 940. It's a fabulous work knife. He created this for tradesmen, uh, carpenters, people that work a lot. And this thing is awesome. I am loving the length on it. I am loving how slim it is. These facets that he puts on the scales for grip. It's just a really unique, useful design. I love it. I have small hands compared to all my Gorilla Boys, and uh, it, it fits very nicely. The sheath is gorgeous. Everything about this is super useful. It's just a really nice design, and I got to use it a lot today, and it's already a, a favorite of mine. Just look at this thing. They are continuously being put on his site, so keep your eyes peeled. Sign up for those email notifications. This is a fantastic knife so far. Very robust and slim, just like the 940. You're not going to break this thing at all. It's just a beast and capable of a lot of tasks. So this was a pleasure to use today. I had to use it a lot. A lot. Then I had my Knipex pliers in the Lynch Northwest and Redeemed Creations collaboration sheath. These last time I checked were out of stock on Lynch Northwest. Hopefully he'll be getting more, but I cannot recommend this setup enough, especially with the sheath. I have a full review on this on my reviews playlist, but these are just fantastic little pliers. You get way better grip than using a multi-tool like a Leatherman or a Victorinox. These are really handy if you need to get a secure grip on stuff. Just an awesome little setup. Slides right in your pocket. I love carrying this. And in conjunction with that, to kind of create a multi-tool, if you will, I also carried my Victorinox Super Tinker. This is my favorite Swiss Army knife of all time. It has everything I need and nothing I don't. Yes, I find many uses for the parcel hook that everyone hates. I actually use that a lot and I find plenty of uses for it. So it's not like taking up unused real estate on my tool here. But this has so many use for useful tools. I love the scissors. I love the size. Everything about this is awesome. I just tied a little bit of leather to it. That way I can pull it out of this tail of knives pocket organizer a little easier. Also, I just noticed there's a little glare. Sorry. We had to take the tarp off so that we can move this. And um, yeah, we have way more light coming into the camper than usual because we have no tarp. So sorry about that. 
Uh, but yeah, so this is the Tale of Knives pocket organizer. I have clearly had this for quite some time. There's a review on it on the channel already, of course. I do have an old Phoenix E12 flashlight riding in there. They do make a new version of this, but this one is really nice. And there's a Big Idea Design titanium pen in there as well in the pen slot. This just drops down in my pocket next to the Knipix. I was also carrying the County Calm Widgie Bar today, the four inch one, the straight bar. This is a pry bar that I like to throw in my pocket when I know that I probably won't need to do any prying, but like a just in case type thing. And also I wanted to carry this because it does have the forks. Now, typically I am not a fan of pry bars with the fork. I really like them just to be flat, but I do have this one particular one with the fork. We are doing a lot of very strange tasks, having to move the campers and take them apart and tear everything down that we did. So I figured that being able to pull small nails or staples might be an efficient thing. So I did carry this just in case. But yeah, it weighs nothing and it gives you a good amount of reach and you are able to use this to pry all types of stuff without using your knife, basically as a pry bar, so there we go. And it does have this lanyard on it. This kind of adds length. It's almost like a handle without actually having a six inch pry bar in your pocket because you can, you know, just grip the lanyard. You can still get a nice grip on this pry bar without it actually being, you know, six or seven inches long. And this just folds right up in your pocket, especially with this specific style of knot. It's very comfortable. So, there's the pry bar for today. Wallet, same as every day, fail safe goods, sidewinder. And then I had a bandana, which I always carry, and my notebook that is so totaled. And I've been saying for months now that I need to switch it over, but I am trying to use like every last bit of blank slate in this thing. So that's what I carried today way overload compared compared to my typical carry. Uh, man, sorry, I'm like exhausted. I've been working all day and I feel like I'm just not even making coherent sentences at this point. Uh, yeah, that's what I carry. That's what I carry when I'm doing a lot of work not at my day job. This is like my full typical tool set for a day of hard work, not at my job, around the campers, you can pretty much do anything with this tool set. I do wish wash back and forth from the Knipix to my Victorinox Spirit X, but when I'm carrying a fixed blade, there's no way that I'm going to put this on my belt and then also a, a sheath with a multi-tool in it. You know, that's like way too much on my belt. So whenever I carry a fixed blade on my belt, you're always going to see the Knipix with it and the super tinker because that's like my multi-tool that goes in my pocket and then my knife that goes on my belt and then it's the opposite when i'm carrying the victorinox spirit x on my belt i'll have a folding knife in my pocket as my cutting tool so yeah i just figured i would show you guys that uh let me know down in the comments what you guys carry on your days off or what you carry around the homestead to do work this is a lot of stuff, but I actually really do use it when I'm working. So there's that. Yeah. I hope you guys have a good day. I love you all. Go. Oh, we need a knife to say this. Go use your shit. I'll see you on the next video. I got to get out of here. I love you guys. See you later.